Tries his first real trick, sacks it. Doesn't even come remotely close. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review, the series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys. If you submitted a video and got no response, you probably did it wrong. Today we have two skate videos, one's park and one is street. And judging by how long it took me to find a thumbnail, especially this being the best thumbnail I could find, I have very little faith in either of these videos. Rewind. This video's from Slurped. Slurped. Okay. Rewind and play. Starting off. Nolly 3 shove. Got the shove it up. Starting with a bang. We have a lot of quick clips. Maybe I misjudged. A little bit blurry here. Back 180. Some uh, sauce. A tray flip. So, wait, so it's going so fast, it's maybe trying to distract me from that not locking in at all. We're gonna have to call these out. Okay, that, wait, <laughs> this is a horrible rocket flip to, to you fell. No one felt like, no one thought you landed that. No one. Front board, I knew a guy when I skated a bunker that skated exactly like this. Same style, same trick selection, and same lack of control. What was going on there? There was some feet on the ground. A lot of things to complain about here. That's probably not even the same guy. Is this the same guy? <laughs> I knew a guy that could front nose and front board, but could not come out regular. He could only come out fakey. That was definitely a heel drag as well. I like how quick all the clips are. It adds a certain degree of action. I'd hate feet on the ground, but that was actually pretty uh, unexpected. <laughs> kind of looks like a cool trick to do off of something. We don't get any, we don't get much like popping, right? It's just kind of whiffing the board up and randomly flipping it. That was surprisingly impressive. Like it doesn't quite rock fakey because it's so rounded, but that's kind of impressive that he held on to that. A lot of weird ollies with some weird back stees. Another shove, <laughs> puts the whole whole weight on the back D. Cool body burial there. Front board, a lot of people in the way. Slow down. I mean, it's hard to judge this. Let's let's review this for what it is. Just some collection of clips from some guy that can't do any better. I don't want to say too many negative things because at least this guy is out there. He's doing tricks. You know, he's filming. He's skating. But here's the thing. I like to live in a world where people are proud of what they put out. And if you were proud of this trick, then for you, I think you are setting the bar too low for yourself. Especially considering you have all this footage. You have the ability to land tricks and learn tricks, and you have the ability to clean the tricks up. So I think that's what could have happened here rather than just sit here and say uh okay low skill skater low effort whatever i at least can say at least in this situation that it could get better moving on to our next video i would give that a five out of ten next video from luke lucas called proud to be your bud rewind and play this video is very long but i noticed that the credits start halfway through so uh so it got approved if you send me you know a 12 minute video generally i don't like to review those a lot of roll up for the ollie a lot of roll away he's got his back with the same trick touching hands on the ground gets hit by a car black screen trees Okay, we get some skating. Tray flip. Is this going to be the same guy or multiple guys? No slide shove. Nicely done. Kickflip manual up on the horrible ground. Pulls it off. Manual really wiggly and wobbly. Not the best kickflip, but he landed it. It counts, right? Kickflip across the gap. Now we got Danny. Crook shove. The action here, again, is great. Starting off with a bang. I wouldn't say couple of ollies was starting off with a bang, but who knows? Maybe the spot is harder to skate than it looks. I like the uh, I like this line here. A lot of speed. 
Got some Nolly going. Got some ledges. Got some manuals. Ollie over the uh, planter here. Front shove with some steez. I like the way he dangled the back foot. Some manuals popping out. So here, I just get the idea that this is just like a skate crew. You know, this is definitely not like a shop video or, or I don't know. Like, I feel like this, this walks the line between, okay, it's me and my friends just messing around and we're also like somewhat capable on a skateboard, right? We get the ollie there. Eating shit. So there's like the funny part, right? Like you could redo that, but that, I mean, I'll give it to him. That's kind of funny. We got some handrails. I, uh, I'm having a hard time keeping track of it if it's all the same guys. This is still the name we saw earlier. Nice hard flip on a spot that doesn't look that easy to skate. No slide big spin with the, with the foot on the ground. Again, like if this, let me find it again. If this is good enough for you, then I think you're setting the bar too low. I think his board might have broke there too. The bar is set too low. Maybe you just don't want to be good at skating. Maybe you know what they say in, in gaming: you never want to PB by too much, right? You never want to, you never want to do too good. You always want to just barely do better than your previous video. Although for me, it's more impressive. Is that the whole thing? I think there's another part. Fade to black. How many seconds of black do we think are, or is the, is the perfect amount? Okay, I have to fast forward, and I think most most logical people would. No one wants to see it. No one cares. Alling into the bank there. Nice nose grind. Already like this guy's style more than the previous. Although, well, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Both hands on the ground, and he must be so incompetent that he could not redo the ollie. And he can't switch flip flat ground. So this is a great highlight of his skills. If this was a sponsor tape, I would have already turned it off because you're actively telling me that, that you can't handle it. No slide down, filmed from the wrong side. Hippie jump, landed pretty well. Tries his first real trick, sacks it. Doesn't even come remotely close. Slow-mo complaining on the ground. What do we got here? They built a ramp. So I don't like the guys that just ollie high onto the handicap rails and then call it like a video part. But if you're building a ramp, you're even a step below them. Going back for the board slide on the rail, it's been already demolished by several people and I feel like... <laughs> uh, okay, I feel like... The amount of celebration, okay. Hugging, sexual, okay, no, I'm on top. Yeah, yeah, you're the bottom, I'm the top. Okay, Ollie, big spin. Those are pretty cool, right? That's kind of caught on a lot more recently. Okay, a little grind to a uh, slide there. Not bad. The red pants. This guy loves the red pants. Running up the stairs. It's a lot of stairs to walk up. He's checking it out. Definitely going to be a board slide. We already saw it in the thumbnail. Okay, I'm sure we all saw that. Again, like the standards should be higher, right? Look at... <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, the, like, why are you cheering? The, this, these are like, in skateboarding, this is what holds you back. All right? What motivate, like, maybe not everyone. Maybe this is like the new TikTok generation. What holds you back is people giving you props for things that don't deserve it so that you think that every little thing you do is now amazing, which then gets these guys, I see it all day long, on Instagram comments, it gets these guys who think they're really good at skating. Not because they've ever won a contest locally or not because they have a local sponsor, but because every time they do a trick, all their friends get boners and fuck them in the ass and high five them. And they they believe that they belong there. I don't know. Uh, oh, so he redoes it. I did think that angle was closer. So he redoes the board slide. More hugs, more kisses, more gay sex. High fives, kiss the filmer, it, please. Is there more? Proud to be your bud, drinking the Bud Light. Anything after this? Credits, okay, so I guess, like the board side was cool, but again, for me, I know there's some people out there who would probably think this is cool, right? If I was 14 years old, I'd be like, oh, it's so like edgy that he dresses in red, and then like when he falls, he like includes it. But unfortunately, I've seen all this shit before. 
I'm not impressed. I would give this one uh, 7.5 out of 10 just because maybe it's a personal thing. The celebration was a little bit excessive. And I only say that because the skill level was so mid, as you guys would say. Anyways, that's what I got. Let me know in a comment below if you think maybe I'm wrong about my ratings. Would you rate this first video better than a 5? Would you rate this second video better than a 7.5? Please let me know in a comment below. If you would like to submit your footage to me, let me explain why some of the rules exist. First off, find me on Facebook or find me on Instagram, type in Ninja Lifestyle and send me a DM. So far, you should understand that. At no point did I say hit me up on Twitter. At no point did I say TikTok or Snapchat. I only said Facebook or Instagram because it's easier for me to arrange those messages. When you send the DM, write the words this is for ninja review why would you do that because when you send a random link guess what it gets jumbled into every time i'm ever tagged in something every time i ever get a comment every time i ever get a response to a story every time someone ever reacts to my story so all of those things all go together and can push you out unless i go through those scrolling and i see one that says the words this is for ninja review then i go oh this is for ninja review this must be for ninja review otherwise half the links i get are just people sending me videos of other people doing my jokes which is then a waste of my time because i don't care i get a lot of people sending me a lot of dumb shit all the time so please just write the words this is for ninja review and then send me a link to a YouTube video. Make sure it's HD, make sure it's 16 by nine, make sure it's not vertical footage. I shouldn't have to explain this all the time. If I say this is how you do it, I just expect that's how you would do it. I feel like at this point, I'm just talking to toddlers. I know not everybody. I know not everybody, but you gotta understand how frustrating it is for me to get eight or nine people in one week who think they submitted the video right, but then today, I only have access to two videos because the other six of them have no idea what's going on. Two of them send VX footage. One sends me a video of Nyja saying, review this, and I go, well, that's not you. It's just getting, it's getting ridiculous. I go through this every week. This is not a new story. I just, maybe, you know what? Leave a comment there. What are people missing? Are they getting dumber? Or am I just even more disconnected? than I previously thought. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I probably will not be skating this week because every single day here in Las Vegas, during the day, it's going to be 115 degrees, which is uh, too hot for me. Have a great weekend, Kuna Matata.